if you're buying real property such as a lot, condo, or house, then congratulations. We're so happy for you. Now, it's going to be helpful if you're confident with all of the documents and the title transfer process. At some point in the process, you will encounter the contract to sell, one of the most common legal documents out there. But some people may ask, what exactly is a contract to sell? Mm -hmm. uh, most people keep signing it without even understanding what it's for. Um, sometimes I ask, how is this different from a deed of absolute mm -hmm. sale? And how do I make one and ensure that it contains everything that I need? Now, if you're asking the same thing, then stick around as we talk about it on today's episode. This episode is brought to you by Notary Not Included, a guide to the seven most requested legal forms. It's a book that teaches what legal documents do, how they're made, and what to look out for. The book also includes downloadable soft copy templates, which you can use for yourself. Let legal documents help you with everyday life. Go to info.legalguide.ph forward slash notary to learn more. Welcome to Legal Guide Philippines, where we simplify the law to help you make better choices. I'm attorney Ramon Ramirez, and I'm with my partner, attorney Erwin Zagala. So today, we're talking about what? The contract to sell. It's Turn very way. common. Uh, laging natatanong tayo dyan. Right. Ramon, eh, mm. so, so just to get everyone off on the same page, mm. let's talk about what it is. What is it, Attorney Irwin? So so you get to hear contract to sell. Yes. Meron din na uh, absolute deed of sale. Mm. Hey, ganun, iba, yes, iba, so, iba. So, so may pagkakaiba po dyan. Very, very big from a legal standpoint. Mm -hmm. Now, contract to sell. Take note, ah, I stress two. Contract two. Two. To sell. Sell. Okay. It's a preparatory contract. Preparatory, preparatory contract. contract. To what? Yeah. To the absolute sale. Mm. Okay. So there's a deed of absolute sale that is the end goal after executing the contract to sell. Oh, okay. Now, okay. now uh, for some people, okay na yun eh. But... Let's try to simplify it for everyone. Baka lang mas uh, pwede pa nating linawin. Okay, please. So, ano ang ibig sabihin ng prepara preparation? For what? Mm -hmm. Diba? Preparation Para, for what? Diba, ang bili, bili is bili. Mm. Diba? Oh, uh, kunari ako, ito for, for the sake of uh, today's episode, ako yung nagbibenta ng lupa at ikaw ang? Bibili. Okay. okay. So, kung sakaling bibili ka ng lupa sa akin or condo or whatever, let's just lump it under one category eh, kasi mm -hmm. it doesn't matter for this topic. Right. Eh. Pare-pareho okay. lang naman ang contract to sell yan. Whether lupa, condo, bahay at lupa, factory, mm -hmm. building, <laughs> lahat yan. Isa lang yan na Bili contract yan. to sell. Mm -hmm. So, what are we preparing for? Mm -hmm. Okay. Scenario 1, napakadali. Mm -hmm. Oh, may lupa ako. Yes. Isa mong bilihin? Yes. Okay, shake on it. Oh, bayad. Okay. Ito. That's scenario one. Mm. Yun yung pinakamabilis. For that kind of scenario, wala ka na kailangan contract to sell. Why? Kasi what you will be executing would be the deed of absolute sale. Yeah. Okay. Kasi tapos na. Ano yung pinaka-important na part? Bayad. Bayad. Bayad okay. na in full. Mm. Contract to sell, it will fill in the gap if hindi po full yung payment. So, kunwari, scenario 2. Okay, scenario 2. Talaga tumatagilid ako, oh, pare, para, para ano? realistic. Oh. May lupa ako. Oh. Okay kang bumili. Saan ba yan? Ha? Saan ba yan? Quezon City. Quezon City. Sige, wala pa ako doon. Sige, oh, sige, sige. Para oh, monopoly dyan. lang. Oo, oh. oh, oh. okay, shake on okay, it. Okay, shake. Ay, oh, teka, teka, wait, wait. Uh, meron akong cash flow issue eh. Ay, so, okay. Uh, How can I help you, Magkano partner? ba yan? Magkano ba yan? Uh, 15 million. 15 million, hmm. no. Uh, meron ka palang 15 million. Oh, sige. Um, pero I can pay you in 15 months. Ay, wait. Mm -hmm. So, hindi pa full yung payment? Hindi, eh, hindi pa. Kasi, ay, 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 sayang yung money ko. Eh, paano oh. ngayon yun? Sigurado ka ba talagang bibigyan? Sigurado ako. I just need to be able to put my money somewhere. So, uh, sure ka? Sure ako mabibili ko. So, that's scenario number two. Hmm. Nag-agree na kami na bibilhin. Hmm. However, the payment will be done in installments. Yes. So, the contract to sell fills in the gap between the time na nag... Nag-shake hand. Shake hands okay. all the way to... Full, full payment. payment. Okay. So, uh, the contract to sell protects both parties uh, in the same way. Mm -hmm. Kasi, uh, on my part, uh, pag sinabi mo kasi bibilhin mo na, 
Yes. Hindi ko na i-alok sa ibang tao. Correct? That's true. So, yeah. there will be an opportunity cost there kung sakali na hindi ka tumuloy. Hmm. So, the contract binds you to, uh, it obligates you to keep paying me. Kasi nga, nagka, nagka, nag, agree, eh. nagka yes. agree yan eh. Nag-meeting of the minds. Meeting na. of minds. In the same way, it protects him, the buyer. Bakit? In what way? Hulo ka ng hulog, di ba? Maghulog ka. Hmm. Maghulog. Okay. Next month. Oh, hmm. next month. Hmm. Eh, three months later, biglang binenta ko sa iba. Nako, naka-full payment. Pag na-full payment, uh, paano na yun sa'yo? Nako. Kung okay. walang contract to sell, medyo both uh, both parties would be uh, legally exposed in a way. Mm. Ako, I won't be assured of payments from him. And siya naman, he won't be assured na I will keep my word na after niya magbayad, I will transfer the the title to him right. via a deed of absolute sale. Mm-hmm. So are you getting it, guys? The contract to sell fills in the gap between the time that you guys uh, agree that there will be payment until full payment. Mm-hmm. Yun okay, siya, na, okay, na, okay. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, ano pa ba ang mga dapat nating binabantayan dyan? Well, um, aside from the full payment, di ba, sa amount, di ba? Right. Another thing siguro na magandang pag-usapan ng both parties will be probably the the manner mm-hmm. the schedule right so so one of the things that we insist on when it comes to contracts is be as specific as humanly possible mm-hmm. so what are the things that you can be specific with when it comes to the payments that you will be stating in the contract to sell mm-hmm. number 1 is currency <laughs> Diba? Currency, yeah. Oh. Minsan, balikbayan ng kausap. Ilang installment. Oo, oh, 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 ilang installment. Hmm. Uh, ilang, anong month? Yeah, or anong day of the month? Babayaran. Actually, mas particular ako sa day. Oh. Usually, the way we phrase it is, kunwari, every fifth of the month. Yeah, or every uh, first of the month, dapat na, ano na, naibigay na. Or, more particularly, what is the manner? Is it by a bank deposit? Mm-hmm. Is it something that you bring in a bayong mm-hmm. and, <laughs> and uh, bring to the house? Or Gcash. G- <laughs> Para malaki ata. G-cash. Gcash ang install. Oh, <laughs> but uh, from practice, the safest way to do it is PDCs or uh, post-dated checks. Post-dated checks. Mm-hmm. Kasi sa check, eh, when you guys sign the contract to sell, magpapalitan na ng check. Eh. Mm, yeah. And with Best that, practice, no? you don't need to go to the house and then uh, mangungulit ka ng tao <laughs> to, ano, to, to say, oh, ito na yung bayong mo for the month. Uh, and then, guys, can you imagine magbibilangan kayo sa sala <laughs> o, sa, o sa garahe, di ba? Mm-hmm. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Just kumakita ng kapitbahay yan na gano'ng kalaki yung pera ng hawak <laughs> nito. That may, uh, added, uh, may added security risk ka pa na, na yeah. you have to think about. Now, another thing, Attorney Ramon, that uh, usually is a point of confusion mm-hmm. is in sa ownership. Okay. Kasi for some people, eh, Attorney, may pinirmahan na ako eh. Doesn't that uh, get to mean that I'm already the owner? Mm-hmm. Like, kung pwede ko na siyang uh, isang la mm-hmm. or, or pwede ko na sabihin sa mga tao na ako na yung may-ari nito. Mm-hmm. How does it work? Yes. Diba? So, na, ako na ba may ari, Attorney Irwin? Pag, uh, you're, you were the buyer, di ba? Yeah, so, and uh, uh, for the sake of discussion for this one, mm-hmm. let's assume that it was under installment. Mm-hmm. Uh, kunwari, 15 months. Diba? 15 months yeah. para madali. Uh, at 1 million a month. 1 million a month. I think that's, uh, kaya-kaya mo yun, pare. Kaya-kaya one, kaya one, ba yun? 1 million a month. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Tapos, uh, ang tanong ngayon, after natin nagpirmahan, ano yung status ng ownership? Yes. Okay. So, to be clear, ang titulo po, it's still under the seller's name. Oh, eh, nagpapayad na ako ah. Mm-hmm. Oh, That's a good point, di ba? I've already given my down payment. Oh. Okay. So, the contract to sell can also specify that ownership will only transfer upon full payment. Usually, when we draft contracts to sell, that's how we phrase it. Mm-hmm. Why? Why? Eh, kung sakali kasing hindi pa full yung payment, tapos tin-transfer na yung ownership, mahihirapan po kasi yung seller to recover. If ever, kunwari nailipat na sa'yo yung titulo, yes. eh kunwari hindi ka na magbayad, anong habol ko ngayon? Wala na. Or may hirapan. Mahihirapan. Meron, meron na may siya. habol, may oh, habol. But, meron. Okay. but the way I see it, you'll have to go through litigation. Magpa-file ka talaga ng kaso for that. 
Yeah, so let's just not put ourselves in a situation where, you know, you'll have to do that. Anyway, when you guys are negotiating, in essence, kasi the contract to sell is the product of negotiations mm-hmm. between the buyer and the seller. True. And kung ano man yung mapag-usapan during negotiations, that's usually what is reflected in the uh, contract to sell. Right. So during those negotiations, if you're the seller, I would highly advise that you make it clear to the buyer mm-hmm. that ownership shall only pass upon full payment. Upon where? Full payment, attorney. Para wala tayong habulan. Yes. Kaya baka magmukhang Tom and Jerry pa tayo. <laughs> Nag-ahabulan. Oh, <laughs> ang, ang hirap po kasi sa titles, guys, there's a presumption attached to a title eh, that uh, if you are the person uh, named in the title, you are presumed to be the owner. E paano ngayon kung may hinahabul pa kayo na balance or there are certain installments? Mm-hmm. That's kind of incongruent with being an owner. Kasi being an owner under the law presupposes that it's free and clear. Yes. Malinaw na eh. Na parang akin to. Uh, walang, walang ifs, walang buts. Akin to. But if there are installments there, highly recommended against it. Mm-hmm. Now, attorney Ramon, ang okay. isa pa is Paano pag makikiusap? Yes, paano nga yun? Sige na, attorney, para pwede kong isang la. Mm. And then, and then, uh, I can already uh, use yung, yung property for isang la purposes. To pay you. Oh. Oh. Now, in those cases, I will be frank, there's legal exposure there. Mm. There is risk. Kung sakaling you're consulting me as the seller, I would advise against it. Mm. Unless there are more safeguards na ilalagay. Mm. But just the mere contract to sell and absolute deed of sale, baka it might not be enough to protect you. Yes. So uh, I would advise against that kind of uh, arrangement if ever. In, in addition, uh, Attorney Irwin, uh, to uh, transferring of ownership as well, um, I think in the contract to sell, there's also a lot of leeway here for us to be able to put uh, yung mga conditions natin to, uh, in selling the property. That's true. Diba? So like, kung wari, uh, if I'm the buyer and uh, bibilin ko yung property mo, doon ko ilalagay sa contract to sell where, uh, where I want to make sure that you will produce to me all the all documentation to That's show that true. you are actually the owner. Mm-hmm. Diba? Like, kung wari, some, a, lot, a lot of sellers, uh, nakapahalin yung property nila doon pa sa kanilang nuno. Patay tayo dyan. Oh, so, I, 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 ayoko yun. No? Even if kayo na lang yung totoong heirs, di ba? I want to make sure na ikaw talaga may ari niyan. I want to make sure that you, let's say, you've paid all the previous taxes on it. Mm-hmm. Di ba? I want to make sure na pati yung mga tax, uh, real familiar, you've paid all of that. It's updated. Oh, because I might inherit that, ano, that, that problem later on. Oh, diba? you will. Oh, if oh, hindi na pag-usapan, you definitely will. Mm, di ba? So, I, I totally agree with that. Um, um, you said something very interesting about mm. your unsettled estate. Mm. Now, in the contract to sell, you can actually put it as one of the provisions. Mm. Oh, we recognize that the title is still in the name of the deceased yeah. grandparents. Mm. So, so the uh, seller undertakes to yes. uh, settle the estate. Yes. Or, or, oh. or pedrin, I've seen this. The buyer mm. will secure a legal team to yes. process the settlement of estate, and the sellers will cooperate with the legal team. Pwede yun. Pwede yun. Pwede yun. That um, happens. The nice thing about contract to sell, it's again, it's the product of negotiations. Mm-hmm. So, kahit anong gusto niyo pag-usapan, that's fine. That's welcome. Walang ka issue issue jan. Tama, di ba? Mm-hmm. Um, another thing is you said something about the title na dapat ipoproduce and mm. ibibigay. Mm. There have been cases that we encountered nung mag uh, ano na? Ma- pirmahan na. Pirmahan na. Oh. Nawawala yung titulo. Yung original na title. Yung original, <laughs> the owner's copy. Now, why is that essential? Mm. Para po kasi for those of you guys who are not familiar with title transfer policies, mm. Um, down the line, uh, ito malayo-layo na dun sa title transfer uh, process. Mm. Ito Ito kasi, this deals with the registry of deeds, mm-hmm. the RD. Mm. So one of the things that you will have to do is to surrender the original owner's title. Yes, kasi um, isa-surrender mo, kakancel, kakancel nila yon, and then issue the new one. Mm-hmm. That's why you need to surrender the original one. Unless you can surrender it, the process won't be complete. Hindi makakapaglabas ng bagong title dito sa buyer kung sakaling hindi na-surrender. Mm-hmm. So, here's the hiccup. 
paano ko nawawala pala? Hmm. I, I, I feel it's appropriate na pag-usapan to at the, at the early stages. Mm-hmm. And you put down the resolution in the contract to sell. Mm-hmm. Now, ano yung mga things na pwede pag-usapan dyan? Ang hassle kasi kapag nawala ang titulo, you will have to go to court. Yes. It's a, it's, it's a full-blown trial. Kasi you have to prove to the judge na you are the uh, uh, legit owner of the title and talaga pong nawawala. Mm-hmm. And, and it's a lengthy process to the point na you will have to have it published pa with the newspaper. So, so guys, for those of you who are in charge of titles, ingat-ingat po, medyo mahasal yung process of mm. having it reissued. Yes. <laughs> and, and, Attorney Ramon, um, mm. what are the possible problems kung sakaling hindi na pag-usapan? Hindi na ilagay sa contract na sila. Yung alin? Na nawala yung title. Or, kunwari, yung estate, hindi pa pala settled. Yeah, yeah, definitely uh it uh, it would be something that the buyer inherits, di ba? Like ware or hindi ita transfer kagad ng ano yan, uh ng ng BIR yan, di ba? Mm-hmm. The BIR will want will need to issue a CAR or a certificate authorizing registration upon payment of all taxes. Mm-hmm. So if hindi bayad yung estate set uh taxes from the previous transfer, then uh hindi pa payo si BIR na mag-issue ng car yung ano yung buyer kawawa naman yung buyer yes. kasi pwede mo nagbayad ka na but at the same time uh never mo mahahawakan yung titulo in your name yes and the problem there is what if something happens to the buyer ito ito medyo advanced mm. thinking na to ha but but assuming hindi na transfer na maayos okay, but what if alam mo na the buyer passes away. <laughs> ano naman ang gagawin ng heirs? Yeah. So the the heirs will have to enforce uh, a deed of absolute sale mm-hmm. and na habulin pa napaka matrabaho po. So uh, the advice that everything has to be laid out properly in the contract to sell that's invaluable. Mm-hmm. And if you guys can get pull that off and get that sorted out, mm-hmm. your heirs will thank you. Mm-hmm. Kung sa kahle. Now, let's talk about uh, what it's supposed to contain, Attorney Ramon. Okay, Kasi it? napag-usapan na natin, di ba, na ano ba yung, yung deed of absolute, uh, yung contract to sell versus mm-hmm. deed of absolute sale. Uh, why, why is it used? Ano yung mga, ano niya, yung purposes. Ngayon naman, we'll talk about ano yung dapat ninyong ilagay. Okay. okay. So, if I were drafting a contract to sell right now, ano una kong babantayan? The parties. Okay. So the parties have to be clearly specified. Sino yung parties? Dalawa po na kampo yung pinagbabantayan ko. Hmm. Number one is the seller side. Hmm. So if you're doing the seller, kailangan lahat ng seller nandun. Kunwari, minana from estate, lahat dapat ng heirs nandun. Lahat hmm. ng pipirma. Or kung sakaling buhay naman yung seller, uh, lahat ng nakasama dun sa titulo, hmm. all of those names, uh, have to be included in the contract to sell. Next party is the buyer side. So okay. usually, usually w- uh, with buyers, it's only one person from my experience. However, kung sakaling it's a family or, or mag-asawa usually, or no. business partners, mm-hmm. I would insist lahat ng kailangan nakasama dun sa title na lalabas, it should be specified in the contract to sell mm-hmm. na maayos. Okay. Nice. Okay. Next, ito po yung pinaka-importante. Hmm. Hindi ko naman masabing kalimutan na lahat. Hmm. Pero, ne, important din yung iba. But this is the most important part. Payment terms. Okay. Remember, we said the contract to sell is relevant when you're talking about the gap between the time na nag-agree kayo na bibilihan mm-hmm. and full payment. Mm-hmm. So, ito, yung gap na to ang pinag-uusapan natin. Payment terms. Mm-hmm. Magkano? Um... Uh, Tuwing kailan babayaran, um, uh, the manner, and who is in charge of that. Mm-hmm. Those are the things that you should be able to include in the payment terms. Now, another section which I include in a contract to sell, this is also important. What can you do in the meantime? Yeah. Okay. Remember, I said that there's a gap. Yes. Correct? There's a gap between the time that you guys agree to purchase and there's full payment. Mm-hmm. Depende na naman to sa negotiations because there are some sellers who are okay with letting the buyer use the property. So uh, let's talk about very quickly the difference between ownership and possession. Yes. Okay. So okay. what's the difference, Attorney Irwin? Owner, ako yung may-ari. Sa titulo, mm. that's my name there. 
I'm the owner. I can exercise all the rights of an owner mm-hmm. on the property. What's possession? Yung paggamit. Paggamit. Mm-hmm. Sino may hawak? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, kung kunwari, uh, phone mo yan. Yes. So, uh, c- can I borrow? Para may visual tayo. Okay. Sure, sure. Sure. Okay. So, kanino tong phone? But who has possession? Ikaw. Sa yes. ngayon. Yes. <laughs> so, that can also be the case when it comes to the real estate properties. Mm-hmm. I can be living there. I can be holding the property. But he owns it. Yes. Are you guys getting the, the the difference? So, sa contract to sell, what you guys can do is, if I'm the seller, I can actually authorize the buyer. Oh, sige, habang naguhulog ka. While you are pay, uh, a good payer, mm. di ba? You can um, live in the house. Yun. Or you can exercise possession. Now, uh, yung pag-exercise niya ng possession, kunwari, bahay, pwedeng siya yung tumira. Mm-hmm. Or pwede rin pag-usapan ninyo, can he sublet it? Mm pwede ba niyang paupahan sa ibang tao? If it's farmland, can he already start planting and mm. earn from the properties? Again, there's no hard and fast rule when it comes to those things. So again, it's the product of your negotiations. Mm. Whatever you guys talk about, you put it in the contract to sell. Mm. Now, the final portion, again, this is important, pero not as important as the payment terms. Payment but terms. Still, no. <laughs> still important, di ba? Is... What happens if the payments are completed? Okay. Ano yung, kumbaga, uh, isipin mo pare na parang may dormant na mga obligations. Ito, no? Tulog, mm-hmm. tulog. Pag nabuo yung payment, biglang mabubuhay sila. Mm-hmm. So, what are the respective obligations na mabubuhay once matapos yung payment? On the side of the seller, usually, pinaka-common is, I will have the opportunity, uh, no, uh, the, the obligation to sign the absolute deed of sale as well as turn over the original of the title will then become active. For kung are, uh, dagdaga mo pa, bigyan ng susi. Bigyan, yung bigyan susi. ng susi. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. Or uh, to do all I, acts. I like that. Oh, I like that. I do like all that. acts to show that you are turning over ownership and possession to the buyer. Tama? Or pwede rin i-facilitate na he will introduce the buyer to the homeowners association, mm-hmm. to the barangay, to the katiwala, mm-hmm. whatever it is. Again, it's the product of negotiation. Mm-hmm. So, kung ano yung mapag-usapan ninyo, you put it down in the contract to sell. And uh, ikaw naman, mm-hmm. as the buyer, yes. what will some examples of your obligations be? Well, yung final installment. Final installment. Pagbayad yung final installment ko. Pwede rin if inaku mo yung processing. Pwede rin. Ito yung maglalakad ng papel sa, right. ano, sa city hall, right. sa EIR, whatever it is. And, and usually, uh, uh, there will be buyers who who will be uh, willing to do that because it's in their interest to na sila lang. maglakad. Oo, mm-hmm. Kaysa yung seller. Ka. Yung seller doesn't care anymore. Eh, di ba? Mm-hmm. So, uh, usually, uh, or in our experience, a lot of times, the buyer takes over that. Mm-hmm. Yun. And finally, ito, ito, not a lot of people know this, but but um, uh, this is something that we highly recommend. Okay, mm-hmm. You should put provisions on what happens if the v- buyer fails to pay. Yes, definitely. <laughs> May interest ba? That's super important. Does it entitle the, the seller to rescind the contract? And then, wala na, akin na to. Mm-hmm. Ano ba yung mangyayari doon? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, those are the things that we would recommend that you include in the contract to sell. I hope that makes everything clear for you guys. Now, you understand what it's all about. So, Attorney Ramon, let's do a very, very quick recap. Sure, Attorney Irwin. So, first, we talked about uh, what is a contract to sell. No? Mm-hmm. Uh, so, uh, Attorney Irwin said that it was a preparatory contract. Mm-hmm. So, basically, it's a runway to uh, the end uh, goal of having a deed of absolute sales. Mm-hmm. Uh, so when do you use it? You use it in the interim. When? Uh, from the time na nag-agree tayo, nag-shake hands tayo, up to the time na mabuo ko yung payment. Yes. Uh, to, for that for that sale. No? Um, next, another thing that we talked about is why is it safer to have this versus just paying attorney Irwin? Mm-hmm. Uh, well, it's documenting the steps in between. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh. And then we tackled a couple of questions such as does it transfer ownership? No. no. But does it allow you to take possession? Yes. It depends. Yeah. It depends. Depends on, on what you uh, talk about and, with the seller. And right? we talked about 
the final part, which mm-hmm. is what is it supposed to contain? Mm-hmm. We hope you still remember the different portions. For most of you, this episode was more than enough. And if it makes your life easier, then great. But there are those of you who will watch and end up asking more questions, such as, Attorney, what do you watch out for before you sign documents? Or, Attorney, where can we get templates for everyday transactions? Or, Attorney, what will happen if we have the documents notarized? If that's you, then I invite you to check out the book, Notary Not Included, where we give a crash course when dealing with legal documents. We'll talk about the lawyer's secret to making good legal documents, the three biggest myths about legal documents, and the three rules we follow when drafting for clients. Plus, we give you a simplified template set of the seven most requested documents that you get to keep forever. Get the book now at info.legalguy.ph forward slash notary today. Now, to add to that, if you want us to tackle your question in our show, go to www.legalguy.ph and click the Submit Topic button. Next, we'd like to know uh, what's your biggest takeaway from today's video. So please write it down in the comments and let's talk about it. Lastly, if you feel we've uh, earned a good rating, please give us a like and subscribe because it gives us feedback that we're doing a good job and it encourages us to do more videos. One last thing. The smoothest real estate transactions I've had the privilege of assisting with were always the ones where the expectations were clear as day. The contract to sell creates the space where you can set up the next steps each party will be taking. That way, you have a very clear ladder with the title transfer at the very top just within reach. So wasn't that simple? Now Now go go make better choices!